Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is food spoilage and preservation techniques in detail. Starting with what is food preservation? Food preservation refers to the process of treating food to stop or slow down spoilage, loss of quality, edibility or nutritional value. What is food spoilage? So from this picture it is clear that food spoilage means the original nutritional value, texture or color of the food is changed or damaged so that it becomes unsuitable for consumption. Then we call such food as spoiled food. Consumption of spoiled food can lead to severe food poisoning. So what are the reasons of food spoilage? The most common reason undoubtedly is the growth of microorganisms like bacteria, fungus, insects, etc. So under the microscope, this is the bread mold, the fungus, you can see the spore and the hyphae. And this spore is very lightweight and it can spread to other foodstuffs and cause spoilage of other foodstuffs very easily. Then there is autolysis. Autolysis is a natural process by which plant and animal products, there is a self-destruction method by which the cells die by the activity of enzymes within the. Then there is oxidation by air that causes rancidity in the case of butter and milk products. Then of course physical change is caused by freezing, burning, drying, etc. And the primary cause of food spoilage is the growth of microorganisms. And what are the objectives of food preservation? Of course, the major objective is to prevent the growth of microorganisms, to inhibit microbial growth, then to kill contaminating pathogens that is causing food poisoning, to minimize food spoilage, food infection and food poisoning. And these are the major objectives of food preservation. Now moving into the methods of food preservation. So first of all, we'll be listing out the different methods of food preservation and we'll be discussing a little bit of every method in detail. Most common methods include pickling, then there is salting, smoking, aseptic processing, canning, bottling, pasteurization, refrigeration, sterilization, dehydration, lyophilization, high osmotic pressure, chemical additives and radiation, irradiation. We'll be having a quick look at each method in detail. Starting with pickling, one of the most common method that is practiced for from the time immemorial. So in pickling what we are using is vinegar. So food is food is preserved in vinegar and it prevents spoilage due to the presence of acetic acid that will prevent the growth of microorganisms. Then there is salting, a very common method. Here very commonly employed for preserving fish, meat, etc. And here also salt prevent microbial growth. And there is smoking and this is primarily practiced in preserving fish and meat. The smoke produced by burning of certain wood, some specific wood which will be producing smoke that contains some chemicals that actually kill bacteria or other microorganisms, thus keeping the food safe from spoilage. Then there is canning. Canning is a very common process where the food is processed and sealed in airtight containers at high temperature. Practiced for variety of foods including meat, fish, fruits, vegetables, etc. So this is the commercial sterilization process in canning. First of all there will be washing, sorting, then there is a process called blanching that is treating the food with hot water so that it softens so that it will fill the container better then there is the cans, can is sealed, then sterilization that is followed by cooling of the cans, then labeling, storage and delivery. 
as it is airtight there won't be any growth of microorganisms for some time the next one is bottling bottling is similar to canning as it is employed for liquid products where it is processed and sealed in airtight containers at high temperature employed for liquid products like milk wine soft drinks etc then pasteurization a very common process that is employed for keeping milk safe heating milk below boiling point or any other liquid to kill pathogenic bacteria to make that milk or food safe to eat and it was devised by Louis Pasteur therefore the name pasteurization it stops the fermentation of milk there are two methods the first one is called as holding method here the milk is kept for 30 minutes at low temperature 62.8 degrees Celsius therefore also called as low temperature holding method then the second method is flash method as the word indicates the milk is kept for a very short time that is 15 seconds at high temperature of 71.7 .7 degrees Celsius also called as high temperature short time method so milk is heated below boiling point then cooled so that pathogenic microorganisms are killed next one is refrigeration one of the most common method employed for preserving food here we are using refrigerators and keeping food at low temperature and the temperature at of no commonly the refrigerator is 4 degrees Celsius whereas freezer temperature is approximately minus 18 degrees Celsius deep freezers at minus 60 degrees Celsius that is good for storing meat and fish for more time especially used in cold storages so refrigeration won't kill the microorganisms completely it actually slows down the growth of microorganisms then there is dehydration a very common method employed for preserving many foodstuffs including meat fish etc so it's a removal of water from food so that without water microorganisms cannot grow in that foodstuff without water or without moisture it's a very simple process then the next one is lyophilization it's an industrial process it's called as flash freezing followed by dehydration so fresh or cooked food is flash frozen at minus 50 degrees Celsius in vacuum then that freeze dried food is sealed in oxygen free atmosphere without moisture when the water is replaced the food regains its original flavor texture etc so this is widely used for different foodstuffs and also for bacterial culture so flash freezing followed by drying method next one is high osmotic pressure this is case this is similar to that of salt and sugar preservation what is actually happening is when keeping foodstuffs in high concentrated sugar or salt solution there will be osmosis this bacterial cell or microbial cell water will come out of the microbial cell causing cell lysis as microbes cannot grow in such high concentrated solution so this is similar to that of salting or salting and we can keep foodstuffs safe also in high concentrated sugar solution also next one is chemical additives very common method or chemical additives are substances added to food to preserve food flavor or enhances its its taste and also prevent food spoilage so it inhibit microbial growth common one common chemical additives include acetic acid lactic acid benzoic acid etc and many chemical additives are harmful also And finally food irradiation using ionizing radiation so here we are using ionizing radiations like gamma rays x-rays etc and this radiation pass through foodstuffs killing microorganisms so that keeping the food safe so there will be a symbol like this of irradiated food and many food products are sterilized 
using this method. So these are the different methods of food sterilization or food preserve. These are the different methods of food preservation. Hope this video is helpful. Please subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.